welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Oh, good afternoon, YouTube. Here with you today to, uh, on this Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to any mothers out there. Um, I thought I would take in, I've already started taking wires off of this power supply, so I thought, well, the best thing to do is just go ahead and finish the job, just take this all, all apart. It's, uh, the power supply itself doesn't work, I don't believe. I don't think it did. I think it quit working, but, uh, it's uh, in the, the parts mode now, so that's about all we're going to do with it. So I think what I want to do is trim all the wires off, and I think I'm going to use these wires for my new... Um, I forget what they call these things. Hook, hook leads? Hook clips? I don't know exactly what they are, but I think that's what I'm going to use these for. And uh, they don't have the right colors don't look like it for all of them, but that's fine. I can, I can make use of them just the same. So, uh, like I say, I'm just going to take this thing apart uh, as, I, as I can, I should say. Um, some of these don't come apart so easy. Maybe I'm doing something I'm not supposed to do, I don't know. Oh, I see now. Where do I? Yeah, I don't know if I do or not. I have nothing else with Trim them at the end. I have just the tool for that. So I can do that. Either way, it doesn't matter. My goal is to make these wires as long as I can because they're not really long enough for what I want, but they'll do fine. Uh, you know, I really, what I should do is I should do is take take the end off of, of one of these let's save them right here and put one of them on there that would make a lot more sense because I don't really need the, the hooks on both ends the clip lead on one end and the hook would be fine but then I'm stuck with like ten of these that don't have anything so I'll, I'll eventually I'll have to do something I'll get it right here in a minute but like I say I just want to go ahead and trim these wires up and get this stuff all all ready to go and so I don't have another piece of crappy stuff laying here on my desk that I don't use. My desk is already full of this stuff, so there's a good fan to use for something. I'm sure we'll come up with something to use it for. So, like I say, I'm just going to go ahead and trim these off best I can. can get out of here. Some of these are a little bit more wiring than I wanted to get into trimming off, but you know, it's alright. Some red ones here. Right. I don't know if any of this is any good. You know, there's some transistors and everything on here. I don't know. Well, see what we have to take apart. I may have to uh, just take pieces as I need them and get this grommet. Grommets always come in handy for this and that. There you see I have uh, that end of them trimmed. Now there's a few, these fire wires here are just too short. Now this one here, these here are just about right, I think, for what I need them for. So I think I'll use all these. And to get these out, we're going to have to trim this, the wires over here, down as far as I can. Uh, now we're going to 
turn these off. If I can get a good spot to do it. There it is. Alright. Got two hours so far. Those will be, be long enough, I think, for what I need. Again, I don't know exactly what I need, but I'll figure it out, I guess, as I go along. need 10 all together. I'm going to go ahead and trim all these off. There's a lot more black than I need. I don't know that I'll get any wire soldered back onto the clip leads today. I really hadn't planned on doing this. I just happened to sit down in here. Start looking around to see what I could use for wire and I thought well rather than to find another thing that can half cut apart. I'll just go ahead and finish cutting this thing apart. Just the job has to be done. So, might as well do it. I really do love these clippers. One of the best purchases I've made for a long time here. I think I can use them for toenail trippers too. <laughs> Uh, the uh, ones I have are, are fingernail style clippers and they don't really do a pretty good job so I know they make a, a dedicated clipper like that for toenails but uh, I don't think they, they would be, work as good as these do. These are a little more heavy duty I think. So, Alright, got the uh, wires all off of it. Uh, a lot of orange, a lot of black couple of three reds, some blue, green, and we'll be able to come out with enough of that, I think, to make some decent wires out of them. At any rate, that's what we got. That's what we're going to use. So if I have to pair an orange with a red lead, that's fine. That's no big deal. It's not the wire color that really matters that much. It's just the... Uh, I don't know, just the, uh, you know, the fact that there's a wire on it, and you can always, you know, pair these up as far as which ends which. Uh, let's see what we have here. Go ahead and take this apart if I can. I think I'm going to start a little junk drawer for my screws. I have a lot of screws that are just kind of loose. I don't really like to sort them into their dedicated locations until I get a few of them. can see me. Well, not you can see me, but you can see what I'm working on. That's loose. Be good for something. There's some nice resistor or capacitors in there. I don't know how good they are or good they would be, I should say. But, you know, it might work for something. Single pull, single throw switch. Uh, 
looks like those are going to have to be taken off the clippers. This. There's a project box. <laughs> um, you know, half serious. I mean, you could use it for a project box. No big deal. These come out through the front. I've just seen a resistor on the bottom. I didn't know they had a resistor. They're a little bit difficult to uh, get out. I don't know if I can even do that. These kind of sockets for anyway. You know that resistor is not going to come out through that hole like that, so we're going to move that around here this way. Out of the way before I knock it off the bench. That's not making a lot of progress there. I need a little bigger, bigger screwdriver, I do believe. Ouch. You get one end out, and the other one, the other one doesn't want to come out. I wonder why. That's how you tear a power supply apart real quick. Um, I don't recommend that style for things that you want to keep, but I don't think I'll be really using anything important on that. Um, like I say, there's a good some heat sinks, got some voltage regulators there, a couple transformers. You know, there's things I could use, um, but same time, there's a fuse. You know, that's, a, that's a kind of a funny thing about these uh, power supplies. I've, I've tore apart a lot of these that have failed over the years in computers, and I don't think I've ever found a blown fuse in one of them. And, and I'm kind of wondering, you know, why put a fuse in it if the fuse doesn't blow and the 
the thing goes bad to whatever whatever shorts if it's transistor diode or whatever uh, shorts and that doesn't blow the fuse I mean what's the sense in having a fuse in there so I don't know just me maybe anyway that's done another little job done uh, again I'll probably put this in the junk drawer junk drawer is getting kind of full I'm gonna have to find a new place for the, the junk drawer I think switch today. Oh well. It turned up I guess. That's it. Alright. On the grommet. I want to save the grommet. Anyway, these connectors, I don't need Molex connectors. I'm not sure they're any good for anything besides computers. I guess you could use them anywhere you want them. I mean if you had the, the male and the female end, I mean they would work for whatever, but again, I want to save these screws. I need a screw bottle. I should have a bottle free here, but I don't know if I do or not. Alright. So, like I said, that's mainly all I wanted to do was get that done and get me some wiring to make wires for the uh, hook leads. I don't want to I see that would be plenty long enough, I think. Uh, the clip leads are a little bit longer than that, but not much longer, really. So I think I've even got some shorter ones in there. So you can see there's not that much difference in them. So this should work fine. Better than buying a bunch of wire that you don't really, you know, need a whole big bunch of wire, but uh, like I say. Basically what I'm gonna do is take each lead, each end. Strip a little bit back, tend the end, and solder it to the uh, you know, to the. Uh, there's three connect or not three connectors, but there's a middle connector here. I'll solder to that, and uh, put the, the wire back through the hole, and away we go. Simple as that. So, wish I could see that. <laughs> I see a little bit of a space there. I think that's it. I didn't get it. Oh, I see. There's a... There's a... Okay, there's a... Must be like a, a tit on there. Yeah, I see it now. That's how it goes. If I, if I lined that up, it'd been a lot better. There we go. See? I think those are so cool. Definitely a lot better for like say transistors and small uh, solid state components and stuff like that. You can really get in there and hook onto it and you don't have to worry about it falling off, things like that. So that's it. I guess that's all I got for today, guys. Um, uh, probably next time you see me, I'll be soldering these on. Um, I may even do it later on today, I don't know. Uh, it's probably about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's been raining all day. It's cold here. It's uh, it was in the 40s up until maybe the time I sit down here. I think it was up in the 50s, finally. But uh, it's been rainy, real rainy. Uh, cold front went through apparently, and and you tell you could tell it. I had the windows all open when I went to bed last night, and the first thing I did was uh, I had shorts on and a t-shirt, and I have since gotten dressed into a sweatshirt and sweatpants. Um, and closed all the windows. So, you know, I like it. Uh, it's, uh, I think, 70 degrees in here, which, yeah, it sounds warm, but, you know, if you're still in winter mode, it's, you know, and there, there's another, that's another thing. There's a difference between summer mode and, and winter mode, and I know, probably all you people know that. But if it's, if it's hot outside for maybe a week, and then it gets down in the 50s or whatever, and the, say the house cools off to the 60-something, you can take that. That's fine. You're in summer mode then. You can. It's fine for a couple of days, but once once it uh, it hasn't actually gotten warm for that many days, and then the house gets cool again, it's you're still in winter mode, or at least I am, and uh, it takes a, you know, it takes a little bit more to warm yourself up, or it does me anyway. I guess it's because I'm old or whatever, but 
like I say, that's it for today. I'm here rambling on. I'm flapping like old 64 goat now, so I uh, need to get off here and do something else. Probably upload this. So, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.